We will take the last question. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Kaif. I am a student of class 10 from India, Bihar, Patna. Why all the messengers of Allah in Islam are males? Is there no equality in Islam between men and women? In Islam, men and women are equal. Equality does not mean identicality. Men and women, they are equal but they are not identical. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given each person his own responsibility. And there are few reasons why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not choose women to be prophets or messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I'll just mention with you these reasons. The first is that there are various behavioral changes that take place in a woman. For example, the menstrual cycle, the postnatal bleeding. So in these situations, a woman, her mental and physical state, it is low. She cannot do the role of a prophet and she cannot fulfill the responsibilities of a prophet. Besides this, the woman, she also has pregnancy. And when she's a mother, she has to take care of her child or her children at the early stages of life. In all of these situations, a woman, she cannot do the role of a mother, whereas at the same time, do the role of a prophet or a messenger of God. And the prophet or a messenger of God, he has to listen to the people. He has to solve their disputes when there is a dispute. He has to mix around with the people solving their problems etc in all of these situations it would not be appropriate for a woman to do this because in islam it is clearly prohibited the intermingling of the opposite gender and the prophet or the messenger he has to talk with the people communicate with the people convey the message of islam to the non-muslims if they have any problem if they have any questions respond to their questions etc and one of the roles of the prophet or the messenger of god is to lead the people in prayer and there are various positions that we do in the prayer. For example, the ruku, the sujood, etc. The bowing, the prostration, etc. And in all of these positions, if the woman, she is an imam, she is the leader, it would distract the people behind. The muqtadi, the people who are offering salah behind the imam, it would distract them if the woman is the imam. That's the reason in Islam, a woman cannot lead the men in prayer. So that's the reason there are certain responsibilities for the women in Islam. There are certain responsibilities for the men. And many a times the woman, she can get emotionally carried away. If there is a dispute, so she may emotionally get carried away. And besides this, I would like to give you an example. If a robber enters the house, it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has given the man more strength. It is a man who will go and fight. A person cannot say that I believe in equal rights. Let the woman go and fight. Each person has his own responsibilities. Similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given a lot of honor to the woman when she's a mother. And there are various ahadith talking about the importance of motherhood in Islam. A man cannot say that I want to become a mother so that I can get the reward of a mother. But natural, no. Each person has their own responsibility.